denied responsibility, condemned it, and called it unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. Jim, the uh, stories that uh, people are now telling about uh, what happened this morning are, uh, are now coming in, and eyewitnesses are telling, um, oh, these horrifying stories. People, before the two buildings collapsed, uh, jumping out of windows, uh, falling to their deaths, uh, trying to escape uh, the burning uh, plane and the, uh, and the smoke. One uh, eyewitness, uh, a man by Kenny Joe Adaman, uh, tells us that when he was uh, in the building, um, at, do we have Kenny? Apparently, we don't have Kenny there. <laughs> Kenny, A, said that he was in the basement, uh, apparently, of the World Trade Center. When the building just came down and the elevator blew up, there was lots and lots of smoke. He says, I dragged a guy out. His skin was hanging off. I dragged him out and I helped him to an ambulance. For many other people, unfortunately, there was to be no help because both buildings collapsed upon them. And recapping what we've told you, we have America under attack. A terrorist attack is what President Bush is calling it. Both World Trade Center towers have collapsed. The scene in New York is one of disbelief. Smoke is now obscuring the entire skyline of Manhattan. All fell. Federal buildings in New York and Washington, D.C. are closed. There have been attacks in Washington as well. We have a report of the Pentagon being struck by a plane. The fire is still burning there. There was a report of a car bomb outside the State Department. That has since been shot down. We also have a report, we had a report that there was a bomb in the Capitol building, but that has since been uh, shot down as well. Most of the uh, federal buildings in Washington have been evacuated, the Treasury Department, the Capitol, even the White House, where reporters were hurriedly herded out of the building where a plane was circling overhead. It's unclear who was responsible for these attacks, and that um, will become clear in the weeks and months ahead. But uh, clearly, this was a coordinated attack. Uh, it happened in rapid fire fashion. Uh, one plane, then another, uh, into the World Trade Center in New York, and then a third plane crashing into the Pentagon in Washington, and a fourth plane crashing. We believe it may be connected. We don't verify that yet, but uh, crashing in Pennsylvania, this all happened very quickly, and the reports just came in as quickly. We are boarding Air Force One. They have bomb squads out here checking all our gear. Here on Capitol Hill, we've just been told the Capitol is being evacuated and that all reporters follow the America under attack. War coverage continues from WABC Radio News. This is WABC New York City. It just blew up. A big explosion. People started running. It was chaos everywhere. An eyewitness describing the scene in what used to be the World Trade Center towers in Lower Manhattan. Both towers hit by airplanes this morning. We were told an American Airlines jet crashed into one of the towers. Then, incredibly, both 110-story towers collapsed. They crumbled, bodies falling from the buildings. American Airlines now says it lost two planes. About 160 people on board of both these planes. They are gone. New York City is closed down. Then, in Washington, another plane crashed into the Pentagon. This is one of those things that you don't dream of in your worst nightmares. It appears that a large aircraft, perhaps the size of a large passenger plane, came uh, very low, clipping off light posts as it approached the Pentagon, and it slammed into the side of the Pentagon and drove itself from the outer ring all the way into the inner ring, the area of the building that it went up, it burst into flames. Um, there are many, many floors of destruction deep inside the heart of the Pentagon. No casualties number yet, but they're sure to be high. Another large plane has crashed in southeastern Pennsylvania in Somerset County. Apparently, that may be a United Jet that was hijacked out of Chicago. The FBI is now trying to determine who is responsible for today's attacks. All planes are grounded around the country. A gargantuan explosion. Oh my God, I don't believe it. An eyewitness to an unbelievable disaster in the past hour. A plane apparently hit one of the World Trade Center towers in lower Manhattan, in New York. America under attack. Our coverage continues. WABC News. This is WABC New York City. Let's, uh, let's update things a bit. Uh, we have uh, apparently conflicting reports on a plane that went down near Pittsburgh. One report says it was a United plane from Chicago. Another report says it left Newark 
Airport en route west. We're not sure of that yet. The plane down in Somerset County, Pennsylvania. Once again, there have been a series of attacks today on landmark buildings in New York and Washington.